rare case of disbelief. If you consider the ability for people, this is what you're talking about, the ability for people to grapple with very controversial parapolitical ideas or with, with hugely alternative perspectives on, let's say, historical events, uh, globalist politics, um, metaphysical ideas, just this, this sense that the great holographic illusions of reality must be encountered if you want to know what's going on. And there's, there's different levels of that. Imagine a staircase that stretches up into the sky, into the clouds, right? And low down on that staircase are certain certain subject matters where you can take a step on it a little step let's take an easy one jfk was not assassinated by lee harvey oswald right so let's say that's step one so that's a conspiracy that is kind of obvious and anyone who's just looked at that for two seconds thinks well he can't have done it didn't happen like that there's something else that went on right okay well done you've just taken your first step on the staircase low down on the staircase there's some slightly unbelievable ideas, but nevertheless, they are true. And once you've taken a few steps up there, you then start to get the idea that the world is not your way, the way you thought it was. And then you get, let's say, midway on the staircase, 9-11. There's a, there's a serious problem on that day. That's a big one. That's kind of midway up the, the staircase, that 9-11. And it's, as you know, Mel, it's a big one, that. It's a world changer for people. So that's, that's a classic, what I would call in the old days, Stargate event. Once you've moved through that Stargate of that, you know, one or two years personal study, and it really isn't very difficult to be a quality researcher, it's really not. You need to train yourself, you need to develop discernment, it takes a while, but it's not hard. It really isn't that hard. And when you look at it, you see the staggering problems, particularly all the doctored photographs in Sandy Hook. Big giveaway, big, big, big giveaway. Um, another one on, that's on the midway point, the media is not fair and never has been, never, 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 never has been. Once you start to grasp the magnitude of empire, that's, that's not too difficult to get to that, right? And then you get to another one, this is a tough one for some people, because we're, we're midway, we're getting higher on the staircase now. Is it possible? that we conceive of a situation where all kinds of organizations is it possible that those groups are actually bad that they appear to be grassroots uprisings of people wanting equity and justice of course no 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 wrong that's not what they are they've not arisen organically and they do not represent reality they are conditioning beacons and they suck in the unwary and empty them out they sort of amplify unreality only um, only to create this extended extended movie this long plain movie that goes on and, on and on and on and on fake polarizations always fermenting division always exploiting the weakest members of society people with nothing who don't have a chance to sit back and educate themselves who don't have a chance in hell of that they have no idea they are the foot soldiers of those groups oh wow really so all that anti-fascism stuff and all those good people who think that it, that's all garbage that's right that's garbage all of it all garbage that's that's a tough place to be if you can stomach that then you get further up let's say the top part of the staircase we know that no one's gone up that staircase nobody's done it you go up further the earth is not a sphere the sun and the moon are not what you think they are same size not far away there is no gravity humans are ensouled children of divine source and right at the top of the staircase god is real and loves you that staircase that staircase of disbelief is what allows one person to examine a thing and another person not to examine a thing you forget Mel and I say this tongue-in-cheek you forget how far you've already come up that staircase over the last 15 years you forget how many steps you've taken and you forget what giant cataclysmic paradigm shifts you've had in your own private mind in your own heart in your own thoughts personally in your life 
with yourself, with your family, with your friends, with your business, with the audience, with this, with everything, we forget how far we've come. And just for a second, you stop and you look down, you realize you're at the top of the staircase. You're right there thinking, anything's possible. Stair 100, anything is possible. And there is a lot of people walking around who don't even want to take the first step. They don't want to know. And here's why. If you take, take step number one, Lee Harvey Oswald did not kill JFK. You have to go to step 100. You have to go all the way up to step 100 in due course. And deep inside, everyone knows that, and they don't want to take that journey because it's hard. It's hard, it's ugly, blood will be spilt, people will be lost, people will disappear, people will laugh at you, people will um, take business away from you, people will mock you, people may even lock you up so most people they just they hover the foot over that first stair you know when you're just about to stand on a stair and they think you know what if i take this first step in due course in the fullness of time i might have to go all the way to the top flat earth i emphasize this point every single stair is a question mark it's not whether this is the case or not that's a very personal decision we don't need to objectively agree on anything here it's a personal journey a personal staircase all they are are question marks flat earth there's a lot of big important questions there really really important questions anyone who writes that off needs the brain examining they need to go back and get the crayons out and start again <laughs>